Hey, this is Ian Cleary from the Marketing Tech Channel on this glorious day. So today we're gonna to talk about Feedly. It's a tool I've been using for a couple of years. Instead of going out onto the web, looking at all different websites to check for new blog posts, put them all nicely into Feedly and start tracking your blog content there. I'm a bit lazy. It's either being lazy or liking to be productive. I'm not sure which it is, but uh, I, I just makes things so much easier. So put them all into one place and then you can check that on a regular basis for, you know, reading content for sharing out content and if you're working with other people that are going to help share out content I'm going to show you a good tactic for that how does that sound good yeah you want to you continue you want to look at Feedly I think now it's time to look at Feedly let's go Okay, so I'm in Feedly here at the moment and you can see on the left hand side here, I've got all my feeds set up. So what I do is I categorize things into collections. These are called collections. So I have digital marketing, influencers, entrepreneurship, marketing automation. These are collections. So if I want to read blog posts, I can open up here and I can see all the blog posts in different ways. So this is just a list format I use so I can get through them quickly. But I can change that format so it shows visuals and more information and I'll show you that in a second. Or what I can do is I go into the collection. So this is everything. This is just a digital marketing collection and here's sites within that. And then I can look for details when in here. As I scroll through, if I could just mark all as red if I'm not interested in that content, or I can just open up the content like this and read the content from here. Now you'll see what I do a lot of times, say with influencers, I put in their Twitter address as the name of the site. So it's easier then to share the content. I don't have to remember their Twitter address. If I'm sharing an article for Madonna, I see that's their Twitter address. So it just makes it uh, a little easier that way. So. How do you organize things like this into collections? So you go into this section here and here's all my collections, digital marketing, influence, on, uh, influencers, entrepreneurship, etc. Now, if I want, I could go, uh, I can change collections so I can go here and start dragging these into a new collection. So that's just a grouping. So for example, if I said new collection, well, it's gonna ask me, well, what do I wanna put into the collection first? So for example, if I said, well, actually marketing, I'm interested in marketing feeds. So this is going through a lot of feeds related to marketing and presenting them here. So I could search for Seth Godin that's listed here and I could add, or I could just search for marketing feeds. So if I decided that Seth Godin was somebody I wanted to add, you can see he's got 325,000 followers. It does about 10 stories per week. I click the follow. When I click the follow, then I can add to a collection that I have, or I could create a new collection and I'd say marketing gurus, guru, guru, guru. Okay, <laughs> I create this new collection and then voila, we have marketing gurus here on the left-hand side. And surprise, surprise, Zeth is in here. So that's a good way of adding things to collections. Now, Another thing I do is, you see here articles to share. Okay, so I work with one person on my team where I select the articles and they do all the sharing out to social media channels. So for example, if I was going in here and I see Mark Schaefer always has great content. So I'm saying, this is a good article. I want to share this across different social media channels. The thing about it is, is you need to be very organized with your sharing. And just because you find the content, it doesn't mean to say that you need to share it all out. So by having a process in place, you can get your content shared. So I strongly advise have another team member there that's available to track these articles, share them out on Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, all the other channels. All you need to do is read the article and find it. So get that process in place. Is this me being lazy? No, no, you just need to be practical with the time constraints you have. So now I can spend 20 minutes focused on reading the articles, not spending another 30, 40 minutes on sharing out the articles. A good tip, are you gonna follow it? I hope so. Let's get back over to Feedly. Okay, uh, so here we have uh, Mark Schaefer's article. So this is what I'll do at Mark Schaefer's article. I'll save it to a board. And I've created a board called Articles to Share. So now this is going to create, create a separate area. So I'm going to save that into the board. Voila, it's done. Now, if I go here, I see Articles to Share. And here's all the articles I put in to share. Now, when my guy comes in here, he's going to take these and then share them out. And then once they're shared, he'll, he'll mark them as completed or remove them from here. You, you can just remove them from this list so they're not in the list anymore. So that's another great way of doing it. What else do I want to show you? Okay, I want to show you some of the sharing potential of this. 
So you can see here, I can share this to Buffer. I can share this article to email. I can share it to Hootsuite, LinkedIn, Twitter, or WordPress. What I can also do is tag this and say, read it later. If I find a really interesting article and go, oh, this amazing article, I'm gonna read this when I'm on the couch later on. I'll do that. I'll save it to the board as we showed already. I'll save it to Evernote. And maybe this is a great article where I don't just want to share it. I want to keep it for future reference. When you're a blogger and you're constantly coming up with new articles, you need to come up with new ideas. And one of the best ways of coming up with new ideas is reading content from other people, storing that content, or maybe storing snippets of that content so that when you're writing articles, you get some inspiration. No copying. We don't like copying around here. No, uh, but we like getting some inspiration and this is a good help of doing it. And here then, this one is saving to pocket. Before uh, Feedly had the boards option, uh, I used to save things to pocket, which is another sharing tool. And uh, my guy used to go into pocket and find the articles to share in there. And then finally, last but not least, you can see here, you can just copy the link to a clipboard and use a later stage. Okay, so one other thing I'd like to show you as well, I'm going to go to browser add-ons. So you can see here, save to board add-on. So this is a little plug-in on Chrome. When I find articles here, I can tag them and add them in here into the collections. But maybe there's some articles that I find when I'm browsing the web and I want to add them to Feedly. So I'll add this plugin in here. You can see it here in the top right-hand side. Save to a board on Feedly. Okay, so let me see if I go to a site, top rank blog, they generally have good articles. Let me see, I'll open this up. Okay, this is great. What I wanna do is I wanna add it to a board. Da -da 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 -da. So actually, so I can save it for later, for reading later, or put it to articles to share. So now I'm browsing content across the web and I'm adding it to Feedly. I'm not a paid subscriber, so anything I showed you was free uh, as far, you know, uh, it was free part of um, Feedly. D -d 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 free part of Feedly, focus in, focus. Okay, <laughs> so. Uh, this is IFTTT, and this is if this, then that, which means it automates some tasks. So I can say, if I add something to a board, well then automatically share it to one of the channels. I don't use the IFTTT because I have a person working with me and I want to do more than just share it to Twitter. I want to share it to Twitter, I want to share it to Facebook, I want to change the text, I want to change the imagery, but you could do some of that with the integration. Okay, so that is a brief look at Feedly. I strongly advise using it i'm not pitching the paid version you could try the free version and that's what i'm using actually and when you run into limitations there there's lots more functionality in the paid version as well but i know you like free okay <laughs> okay thank you very much and i hope you enjoyed that and i hope you come back for more you're always welcome at ian cleary's house or my youtube channel so make sure you sign up as a subscriber and make sure you'll find the button on the page and give us a thumbs up or give us a comment. We always love to hear from you. Thank you very much. Over and out. Not out yet. I'm going to be out in a second. <laughs> Take care. Bye. I'm going back to work. See you later. Cheerio. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you'd like to get more videos like this, uh, make sure to become a fan of this channel. So subscribe to our YouTube channel. Or if you want, you can become a subscriber on our newsletter over at razorsocial.com. Our videos are always very practical and useful. So make sure to sign up. Thank you very much.